Hey everyone. Today I want to talk about meeting people where they're at. We've had a lot of conversation about uh, some reflection that you can do on how you show up and the, the difference between maybe your intent and, and outcome uh, this month. So this, this, this aspect around meeting people where they're at I think is really important and I've, this has landed for me in a number of layers. So Bear with me as I try and wander you through the stories in my head around how I got to where I am uh, in terms of understanding this concept today. So um, I think the first thing to talk about when, when, we, when we speak about meeting people, right, what, what do we mean by that? Well, what I mean is that we are able to engage with somebody in a productive way. Um, now that, that may be an aspect of positive conflict that comes into that. That's, that's cool. Um, but being able to get, engage in a, in a positive way. Um, for us to feel like equal partners in the dance, uh, for us to be able to collaborate productively, for us to be able to get to the outcomes that we're looking for that are bigger than ourselves as individuals. And um, it's, not, it's not about people thinking the same as you. So it's not, it's not about I've got the answer and everybody needs to meet me where I'm at. It's about you reaching out and you going out into the world and meeting, meeting people where they are at. And it's about this balance, which uh, I struggled with learning for a little while around how do I craft a message in a way that can be heard and yet at the same time not lose integrity of that message, not change that message. So this is There's some subtlety in this, right? There's a bit of messiness in this. And um, to give you an example, I'm going to lovingly um, hang it on yogis for a bit. So uh, those of you that have been on retreat with me know that part of my practice includes yoga, um, which I love. It's, it's mindful movement. It's super important. I will bleat on about that uh, no end. And so for me, it's yoga. Um, for you, it might be something different. But within that community um, and within that group, the group of people who, um, who are active in that community, you know, I, I see, see a lot of behavior that makes me uncomfortable. So the example that I talk most frequently about with my friends is this idea of posting the perfect Instagram shot of like a perfect handstand and the caption underneath it is all about vulnerability and showing up in vulnerability. And to me there's a massive disconnect because I've been working on press to handstand for a long time it's not pretty. It's not as pretty as that. I want it and I'm not there yet. And so when I see a post that's all about how, you know, we need to step into uncomfortability and we need to be super vulnerable with ourselves and that leads to a better practice. And then there's a perfect freaking handstand as the image that goes alongside that. I feel this disconnect and I feel this tension. And um, with all the love in my heart, I think what's happening, the way that I interpret what's happening, is that actually we, we end up celebrating the results, right? That picture of the perfect handstand is a result of vulnerability and personal self-reflection and all of that good work that this amazing human has been doing to be able to get to a perfect handstand. Absolutely. But that image is celebrating the results. It's not role modeling the process. And so that's where I want to get to around meeting people where they're at. Is not about having... The perfection of hey I've got the answer as the leader I've got the answer I know where we need to be and you've all got to get on board to get to this point you know I've I've reached enlightenment you should all do it my way nah that's just the same behavior but from a slightly different perspective it's all that same behavior that you're criticizing people about around being stubborn and you know close-minded and, and not taking in the diversity of what's going on around you and, and you simply put a different spin on it and said, well, because I've got a better answer, therefore you should come and meet me where I'm at. No, no, no. We want to get into this process of what does it look like to meet as equals and to be able to see both sides because that's where the really productive stuff happens. That's that first step into what I would call healthy and positive conflict is about crossing that threshold. Instead of asking somebody to come at me in the way that, you know, I'm now an agile project manager, and so if you're coming to me asking for a Gantt chart, no conversation. I've learned a few things, and this is where I stand. Tell me about the problems that you're trying to solve, 
and let's work together to understand how we get there. It's a totally different conversation, right? So we want, we want to start to move through these layers of understanding that, yes, we have a perspective, but equally the person in front of us has a perspective too. And how do we meet them? Because simply explaining our position in infinite detail and you know, impressing them with our amazing intelligence and regaling them with academic literature is not going to change people's minds. <laughs> we need to take that step over the threshold. We need to step out of our comfort zone. We need to meet people where they are at. And I think it wasn't until I started working with David Cantor's um, structural dynamics profiles and the structural dynamics work that, um, that he so beautifully uh, put together that I really started to understand it. And it was, it, for me, it was this model that helped me to get to a place where I could understand how to craft a message in a way that could be heard without devaluing the integrity of that message. So for a long, long time with uh Agile transformation, I struggled in that I felt like whenever there was conflict, it was because somebody couldn't see that the Agile thing was where they needed to be. And so I would over explain the importance and the meaning behind it um, in an effort to, to win them over to my side of thinking. And it really wasn't until I came across David Cantor's work and somebody had, um, had this beautiful phrase around, if you are in France, it's not letting your message go to speak French to a French person. This idea of how do we change our communication style and our context without changing the integrity of the message. Um, Cantor certainly helped me get to that on, an, on another level. And so maybe it's not structural dynamics for you, but there's definitely uh, a place for finding whatever that tool is that helps you understand when somebody's coming at me and I'm not I'm not on the same level. How do I get to the same level? Um, you know, I have I have colleagues in the office that I value Im immensely as human beings and as friends, but it'll take us half an hour to get on a level so that we can have a conversation about what the topic is because our communication styles are so different. Now, for me, that's Cantor that helps me get to that understanding of A, recognizing when there is a disconnect as opposed to a disagreement. There's actually a disconnect in the communication style and this person needs me to show up in a different way so that they can hear me. Um, Cantor helped me to A, recognize, and then B, to work through that. And so, yeah, some, some people it takes me half an hour to get on a level. I have, I have a wonderful, wonderful human who I'm mentoring at the moment, and we will spend between 45 minutes to an hour before we really get into it. Um, and that's, that's our warm-up phase. That's, that's how long it takes us. Um, that might sound unproductive, but to me, it's the most important work that we can do because once we get to that point, then we're having the conversation. And so the question that I'll leave you with is, is diving deeper into this notion of how are we showing up? Not what's your intent. Your intent is, is I'm certain, is coming from a place of goodliness um, and wanting the best and absolutely best intentions, but the way that you show up may not necessarily be conveying that. And so my question to you is, how are you showing up? How is it that you are holding your own beliefs and values in your own message and then showing up for someone in a way that means that you can have a production, productive conversation? How is it that you can truly hear them and meet them where they are at? And how are you stepping outside of your own comfort zone? How are you disconnecting your intent from how you're showing up and utilizing and experimenting with how you are showing up so that you can get to the intended outcome. That's my question for you today. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Meeting people where they're at. Don't be the yogi that's posting amazing handstands and talking about vulnerability. Role model that process. That's really important. And it is messy and we, we get it wrong. Like 1000% I get it wrong. So role model some of that process. Be vulnerable and stepping into some of that work yes and and show up experiment with how you're showing up for people try new things to try and get that message heard so that you can you can start to get on a level even if it takes a little while so I hope that was helpful and uh, wherever you are in the world today I hope you're having an awesome awesome day I will see you again very soon <laughs>